Hey YouTube, so I recorded a week's worth of working with our Dual Cell Builder. Uh, we graft on a weekly schedule, so I do the same task every day. Every Monday I graft, every Thursday I place my target, etc. So, uh, it doesn't go perfect, but people have been asking for a little more information on how we manage this little Dual box, so here you go. People have been asking about uh, a demo. Combs move in and out of it for me as I need to make space for graphs or whatever. So we're feeding this guy. As you saw in our other videos, right, we've got three frames in the middle here with the queen confined on it, our cloak area up front, and then extra space here in the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the feeder off and cover those guys up at about the third position. Then I'm going to put this or over there. That way I have the, qu the queen can't get out. And let's see. Hopefully we can find her here. And there she is. Awesome. Come on. We're going to transfer her onto this frame. And this is our target. Next week's graphs. This is the target from three weeks ago. See, it's all capped and filled. The two week ago target goes there. And last week's target frame. It's all nice and filled out and laid out. Very nice. Okay. So, last week's graphs. New target frame for Monday's graphs. This is Thursday, two weeks ago. Take out one of the spare frames I had to draw. This week's graphs being worked. These were grafted again. This is Thursday. These were grafted on Monday. I'll see you guys Saturday when it's time to cage those cells. Banking day. Oh, that's going to be fun. They webbed them. Well, I guess we're not having foundation in there. All right. Time for a knife. <laughs> Thank you. 
beating them a little hard on theirs. Not a lot of space in the front, that should teach me to feed from the back. So they're looking a little runky. Runky enough I might not use this footage, we'll see. Nothing's ever perfect. Well, I think I'm going to take the feet off the back. For now. Check the front over here. Socking. And good. Alright guys, it's Sunday. T minus one day two grafting. What I'm going to set up today is I'm going to put my slide board in, make the front and half of the hive queenless, and I'm going to move my target frame to the front half as well, so that they're about the eggs are about 12 hours from hatching, and that way when they start hatching out, they'll be in a queenless environment, treated as a queen from the beginning and they feed the snot out of them making them a lot easier to graft. I'm not happy with the queen in the center right now. Um, you kind of heard me griping yesterday. I felt those cells were a little bit runty. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to reconfigure the box a little bit. I'm going to put it back to last year's configuration which I was happy with. But I really wanted to push the uh, forage force into here and well, if that's working for starting, it's feeling like this box isn't finishing like it should be. So we'll have to we'll take a look at uh, what exactly is going on. So we'll take all these guys out. There, filling them with syrup. I may look like underfeeding them to overfeeding them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the queen section back to here. But what I want to do is I want to put in a queen excluder. And I'm going to have to trim that down to fit. I can see that All right now. So I'm going to grab the shears. So I've got to cut it to the width of my door plug. 
because of how wide those one by twos stick out from Go. I hold it in place with a couple of staples. That one didn't go in. And that one did. All right. Oh, little bit of that. Now our queen usually is going to be right here on the uh, target comb, where we typically find her, because these combs are laid up and filled up. That's why the timing box works. It gives her nowhere else to lay but where we're telling her. So it looks like she's not home today. Just in case, I'm going to move this over to a quiet box here on the bottom. Go to the next frame. going to be one of those days, isn't it? All right. So let's see if she's over here. There she is. Okay. So I've got her. So I can move her here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this queen excluder because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to put my target frame in the middle here so that when those eggs hatch out they're cared for we've got our graft or our uh, bank frame here you can see I added a couple of virgins from that uh, came out of the incubator yesterday and didn't get sold so I'm going to keep them right there and then we're just going to put this frame back in. And this feed frame just go shake it off. It's going to live in the top box for a little bit. From there I can slide my queen excluder panel in and make this front half now queenless. We've opened the back so they can come and go if they need to. And I can continue to feed both sections. All right, let's put the box back together. Are 
we graft. All right, it's Monday. It's grafting day. frame that we placed yesterday and we would take this to the basement and uh, graft off of it but I'm not grafting off this hive today I'm grafting off my VHS carniola so this can go back in its spot in its spot over on the tar on the queenless side or queen right side I should say we can add that frame we took out back in and through the magic of TV, I already have my graphs. And just put them on the frame, being very gentle not to upset those cells that we got there. And drop it in. Tighten everything up and we'll come back tomorrow, check our graphs and remove the slide bar. Alright. Sorry for being short today, but I've got uh, a couple frames of grass right out of the other yard. Put in the real cell building, not this little baby back. Talk to you tomorrow. Alright guys, it's Tuesday. Time to uh, check our graphs and remove the slide. Great take. Uh, about nine. It's been really hot. That usually makes a mess with my queen rearing. Now what I neglected to do when I was here last time was I didn't. Check for wild cells. Now, yeah, yeah, there's one. That's why I didn't take. I got a little bit young larva over here. Okay, yeah, queen cell, queen cell, queen cell, queen cell, queen cell. Okay, well that explains the low take. Queen cell. Thought these guys were old enough, but they were. Okay, well, always check your frames. What I really wanted to find was my pollen color. There we go. Coma pollen, which I neglected to set right next to my grafts to ensure they have all the pollen they need to feed those. I'm just going to look quickly once over every all these others. Okay. Just because there were so many. Shake that guy off. Make sure I got all of those queen cells. Oh, yep, see, I missed one. I used to shake your frames so you can see. Oh, I know this is just a feed frame because it's old. That's got a lot of pollen in it, too. All right, put that in another new. All right, so that's the week, guys. Um, next up will be Thursday, and Thursday we'll we can set our target frame again, 
We can collect our bank cells from the cages, or we can let them emerge in the cages and we can collect them over the weekend or whenever we feel like it. And of course, we have to close the door. So, we've returned the entrance to its normal configuration. We removed the side board, the slide board to put it back in a queen right condition. Um, we've demonstrated why you need to control what's in the queenless side when it's there, or else they'll draw some rogue cells on their own. And that's pretty much the week. Hope you guys found this um, entertaining, if not a little bit informative, and hopefully this encourages some people to get out there and do some small-scale crewing rearing on their own. You don't have to be a big guy. You can do it with one little box.